Hey guys, the Tamman here doing a love and welcome to my final NFL mock draft for rounds two and three. So let's get into it. The Cincinnati Bengals are back on the board, and I think with this selection, you got Joe Burrow, you need someone to protect him, and they go Lucas Nyang. The Colts go with one of my favorite players in this draft, and that is quarterback from Georgia, Jake Fromm. I really like the way Fromm carries himself. He's very good in the pocket. Jake Fromm reminds me of a lot like Andrew Luck, except I think Andrew Luck has a better arm. So Fromm, Luck, very similar. And then a player that's been falling here in this draft does not fall any longer. Zach Baum, Wisconsin. I think he's a late first, early second round. The Lions desperately need defensive guys. They got Isaiah Simmons, and now they get Zach Bond. The Giants are on the board, and there's a lot of positions they can go here. They have um, a pretty good interior, but they really need an edge rusher. And I think the player they take here is Curtis Weaver from Boise State. I'm a bit higher on him than others, and I believe he is the selection here for the New York Giants. You look here at the Chargers. They got some good offensive line pieces. I think a move they go here is I think they kind of stack up on depth. And I think they go Noah Ingdimbogi, um, since they got in um, Casey Hayward, Chris Harris. They're a bit up their nature, not old veterans, but someone young to train under. I like that selection. Panthers are back on the clock. And I think they really need to enter defensive line. Presence, I think they go lost Blacklock from TCU. The Dolphins have been having a spectacular draft. I think here they could go running back, and I really like DeAndre Swift from Georgia. I think that is a selection here for the Miami Dolphins, building up that offense. The Texans are back on the clock, and I think that they go with a wide receiver, kind of a big, deep threat guy, and that is T. Higgins from Clemson. The Browns here go safety. I think it's Angel and Winfield Jr. I think there's a high chance that Winfield goes in the first round. I think he does fall a bit, and I think the Browns get a really good selection here for their team. Jaguars are back on the clock, and I think they go just to Matabuki. They need the interior D-line presence, and this is a very good uh, D-line depth draft, so I think the Jaguars get a good pick up there. Um, when it comes to the Bears, Jeremy Chin, good safety. He falls to them, and they pick him up. The Colts are back on the clock, and I think they go K.J. Hamler, someone I really like this class. I think he'll really fit well in this in the offense with Phil Rivers, and then when Rivers hangs it up, Jake Fromm, I really like this draft for Indy so far. Tampa Bay, I didn't give them running back in the first round. I think they go here. They could uh, Leonard Fournette could get traded from the Jaguars, but here I think they go Clyde Edwards Halar from LSU at recording. They uh, the Bucks trade for Rob Gronkowski. He unretired, so just make this offense even better for a pretty pretty good running back here. Almost clicked the wrong guy. Broncos on the board. A lot of people have them going corner. They did trade for AJ Bouye, but they did lose Chris Harris, so I do think that makes sense. And I think A.J. Terrell here from Clemson is the pick. And I think the Falcons really follow that up by going Trayvon Diggs here from Alabama. Need that secondary help. And I think that is the selection here. So a couple corners going off the board. And what do the Jets do? Do they follow that trend? I think they go Brandon Ayuk here from ASU. Get them the wire receiver. Help out Sam Darnold. I really like this selection. I could see this one happening in real life. And the Pittsburgh Steelers go with a quarterback, Justin Herbert. I'm not super high on Herbert. He probably goes top five. But for me, mock draft, this is the most realistic. Herbert could learn behind Big Ben for a season. They have, Steelers have a good coaching staff. I think this could work out very well for Herbert. Bears are back on the clock. And this is a bit of an interesting selection. I think you go offensive line, Lloyd Trussenberry from LSU. Cowboys, they went cornerback. You need, I think, that edge presence. Or you could go wide receiver. And that is something. They did lose Randall Cobb. I actually think I'm going to give them a wide receiver here. And I think that is Michael Pittman Jr. I think that's just a very player that could fit in with this 
Cowboys offense. Rams on the clock and they need linebacker. Um, they lost a lot of their guys. That's a position they need badly. And they go Malik Harrison. I think it'll be foolish for the Rams not to go linebacker. And the Eagles say, hey, we're going to follow that up. They need a linebacker. Um, and then they're going to go Akeem Davis Gaither here. The Bills are on the clock and I'm going to give them Zach Moss. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Devin Singletary, but I don't think he's a true number one. I think he needs to split the backfield. Zach Moss can be that guy. The Ravens here on the clock, you got to go offensive line. Marshall Yonder retired. Austin Jackson here, a perfect selection. Dolphins on the clock, and I think they need to, you want to show up that offensive line, go Robert Hunt. And then we're going to stay in this area. Terrell Lewis, a player I really like. Goes to the Rams. Things are rolling here pretty quick. We get to Minnesota. Now with this, I think they could go edge. And I think Julian Okora has fallen a lot. I think the guy from Notre Dame here goes to Minnesota. Seattle's back on the clock. You got to go offensive line. I think they will here. I don't know who, but Jonah Jackson's available. Pretty good player. He's the pick. Ravens are back on the clock. And... You, I think, need to go wide receiver here, Joshua Uchi. I really like this fit for them. As a Baltimore fan, I would be happy if they got offensive line, linebacker, and edge. Get those three needs down. Tennessee, they traded one of their defensive linemen, so I think you replace him with Neville Gallimore here. The Green Bay Packers. A lot of you will have them go offensive line, and that is true. That is a need. But I think also, they go tight end, and I think they go Hunter Bryant, the first tight end in this draft. Chiefs, okay, you um, go offense in the first round. You need to get that defense. And I think they could go Kayvon Wallace, but they have Tyron Matthew. I think they go, um, is Bryce Lovson on the board? Or Bryce Hall, my bad. And I think he's a selection here. Really like Bryce Hall. I was thinking Bryce Love running back from last year's draft. So now, you have the Seahawks. I have another pick. And I think you just make this offensive line even better. Prince Tiga Wanango here. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but that's the pick. Bengals are back on the clock. And, okay, you got yourself a good quarterback. You got yourself someone to protect. I think you have to um, you either go defense here. Or well, I think you could even go, I think Jalen Johnson is a player I could actually fit see in that scheme. All right, for the Redskins, I think it's Van Jefferson or Donovan Peoples-Jones. You need someone for Julian Haskins. I like Donovan Peoples-Jones here to Washington. The Lions are back on the clock. you got to keep going defense here. Um, their secondary without Darius Slay is really struggling. They didn't go Jeff Okuda, and I think they go... The Denarne Holmes, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Jets are back on the board, and I think you need that edge presence. Now, I like Jonathan Grenard here. I think he can develop into a good player. I like him as a prospect, and I think this is a good fit for the Jets. Okay, you have the Panthers. Now, this is a player that I could see happening. Jalen Hurts, the quarterback. Um... I could see Jalen Hurts being a de very de developmental player. I think he has potential, but I don't think it's going to be a day one or a year one thing. I think if he sits behind Teddy, he could really learn, and that is the pick here I have for the Panthers. Them going with a bit of a surprising move here, but that's kind of the way their offseason has been panning out. And, you know, sometimes there's surprises in the drafts. Speaking of the drafts, the... Dolphins have had an amazing one here. There's a lot of good safeties, but they already went that. Um, what do we give them? I mean, I think they could add another wide receiver. Van Jefferson here stays in Florida. Dolphins looking really good. The Chargers here are looking really good, and they add Matt Hennessy from Temple. Cardinals, you gotta, I think, that you have Chandler Jones at the edge. You have Jordan Hicks. I, you could, I think, go tight end here or safety. They do have Buda Baker. They don't have that number one tight end. And I think it's either Bryce and Hopkins or Cole Komet. I'll go Hopkins here. You have DeAndre and now Bryson. Okay. I really like Ashton Davis. I don't think he's going to fall this far. But the Jaguars pick him up. 
Browns back on the board here. What do they do? They had a pretty successful draft so far. I think it could go wide receiver. OBJ might be traded. You get your, you know, another playmaker for Baker and Tyler Johnson. Colts are back here, and they have a great offensive line. They don't have Eric Ebron. We already gave them a wide receiver. I think this is either a tight end or a corner. I think tight end is going to go a lot more. Uh, Matt per Parrott is still here. Um, you know, I, I think he's gone. The guy from UConn goes to Indy. All right, Tampa Bay is back on the clock. They got Gronk. I was maybe thinking wide receiver, but I think they maybe go Jacob Eason here to learn on Tom Brady. I actually really like that move, and that's the selection here. For the Denver Broncos, I think you go inside the D-line with Raekwon Davis from Alabama. All righty. I think the Falcons here. I think they go David Hamilton. The Jets... There's a chance that Jamal Adams gets traded on the day of the draft. With If that is so, I think they go Kyle Duggar. The Raiders here, oh, they just miss out on Kyle Duggar. So they're looking, I mean, what, what do they need? Okay, we could use a corner, but Kayvon Wallace, oh, he's falling to us. We'll pick him up, and they will go again. I think you go off in some line here. I think that is the selection, Ben Varch. I will say, don't know that much about these third-round players. I'm going more about the team need, needs. So the Cowboys have looked pretty good. You got corner, you got a wide receiver. Their D-line is pretty good, so I don't think Marlon Davidson goes yet. But I think they go maybe tight end with Cole Komet. I could actually see that happening. The Broncos have a ton of picks here in um, the later rounds, and I think they here go Dale, Dale Taylor to get a good, nice rotational edge player. That's how the Broncos defense, and that's how they've picked in the past, kind of these rotational guys to go in with Von Miller and Bradley Chubb. I think Damon Arnett here is to pick for the Rams, get another good corner. The Lions here are on the clock, and I think Marlon Davidson, Davidson falls no more. The Detroit Lions scoop him up. So the Bills here, I think you need to go edge. Who? I think it's Alex Higgs Smith. Well, is that my actually like Khaled Kareem a bit more to them? Alrighty. So the Patriots here, we gave them Jacob Eason, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know why it still says quarterbacks in need, but I think you do need to go wide receiver. Brian Edwards is a selection. Julian Edelman's like I think he is 32, so that is a need. Saints, I think they go with a very underrated quarterback, Nate Stanley. Um, from Iowa, I think they kind of get this guy in the middle rounds and that Sean Payton could develop him. So that, that's my selection there for the New Orleans Saints. Vikings here, I think you have to go offensive line. And I think Tyler Biedes, who is still here, is a Viking. I think he'll go a lot earlier in the draft. The Texans are on the clock. And I think they get a good safety here in Tyler Burgess. A lot of hidden gems here, and I think the Rays go to Meek Robertson, get some of that cornerback depth. Ravens, now I think this is where you go wide receiver. You, I, I, As a Ravens fan, I think you go edge, O-line, linebacker, then wide receiver. Um, not a ton of people here that I'm not familiar, too familiar with names. Chase Claypool is kind of like tight end, wide, tight end wide receiver hybrid, and the Ravens do like the tight end. So I can actually see that. Chase Claypool here to Baltimore. That would actually be a very intriguing selection. The Titans go offensive line here with Nick Harris. Green Bay is back on the board. And I think they've addressed their needs very well. I think you maybe go cornerback here with Cameron Dantzler from Mississippi State. The Broncos have a ton of picks. That's right. They trade back for... Or they trade with the Steelers. They traded back last year. I'm like, how do they have so many selections? Uh, I think Troy Dye here from Oregon is a really good player. And I think he'll fall a bit, but Denver's a good selection. Chiefs on the board felt like a team that does not have a ton of picks. As look, Cleveland is still here. I don't think they go that. I think that they go Willie Gay Jr. Someone with a bit off the field issues. But Andy Reid is kind of known for bringing guys in and helping them out. I like that. And... This would be perfect as a Cle Cleveland to the Cleveland Browns here. And then the Patriots are back on the clock. I think they go Alex Higgs-Highsmith, someone who's fallen a bit, kind of the Bill Belichick type of 
pick up Logan Wilson to the Giants. I really like that's um, how that fell. And then I think the Patriots maybe do pick up a tight end here for Rob Gronkowski. Um, and I think it's Adam Trotman here. I think they could go tight end a bit earlier. Seattle's on the board. I think they'll go Courtney Davis from Texas A&M. I know they have Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, but always add another piece. Not a bad idea for Russell Wilson. So the Steelers have kind of played this draft. They got Justin Herbert, but I think they need to address the line, and Damian Lewis is still there for them. I think if you're the Eagles, you either go corner here. I think Troy Pride Jr., you know what? I like that. Jordan Brooks is still here. Okay, I don't think he could go here to the Rams, but you know what? They actually lost two linebackers. I actually think they doubled down on linebacker. Minnesota's on the board. Shakita, I have never heard of this player, but they need offensive line. And the last pick of round number three, the Baltimore Ravens select. I think you go running back, and I think it is Eno Benjamin. And that, that guys, will be it. I know I know some of the second and third round prospects. I don't know a ton of them towards the later half, but I really like what I did um, with a lot of these picks. I, I could see some of these guys not falling as much, but I think some of my favorites, I like Jake Frum to Indy, Learn Behind Phil Berger, Zach Bond, Curtis Weaver. I really like a lot of these first couple picks. T. Higgins, on Antoine Winfield to Cleveland, Brandon Ayuk to the Jets, Justin Herbert to the Steelers. I really like these couple of picks here. With Austin Jackson all the way down to about Hunter Bryant. Some in the third round I don't know about. But overall I like this. I think some of the teams got depth. I really like Donovan Peoples-Jones to the Redskins. Jonathan Greener to the Jets. I will be interesting to see where Jalen Hurts goes. Really like Van Jefferson. Kyle Johnson here. Yeah, I'm really happy with actually the way this turned out. For not knowing a whole ton about a lot of these guys later. But let me know what you guys think of this. And until then, guys, I'll, the next video will actually be round one draft recap. So it's exciting. Until then, this has been Tam and Doyle. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.